This high altitude gravel pass is a little difficult to find but offers rich rewards to the travellers seeking out the more remote passes. It lies to the east of a deep valley carved out by the Bavians River between Cookhouse and Tarkastat and connects a range of farms from the Bedford side with the R344. The pass has a significant altitude gain of 289 meters over a distance of 6.1 kilometers producing an average gradient of 1 in 21, with the steeper sections measuring in at 1 in 14. This is one of those remote farm roads less travelled, where the more adventurous traveller will be rewarded with wonderful scenery and quiet roads, where you are unlikely to see another vehicle over the entire route. The road is generally maintained to a good standard and can be driven in any vehicle. During the 1700s, the land was totally uncultivated and well populated with wild animal species, including elephant, lion, leopard, hyena, wild dog, quagga, wildebeest, elant, and many others. The later arrival of immigrants completely changed this picture and by the 1850s the sand had completely disappeared, leaving behind only their rock art and various artifacts to show that they'd ever existed. Towards the mid-1700s, two groups of migrants began to infiltrate the area. From the west came the first trekboers, who were Dutch pioneers seeking new land to settle in. From the east came groups of Koza, displaced by power struggles within that Koza nation. In 1779, the Dutch authorities, trying to limit the expansion of their colony, negotiated with certain Koza chieftains and managed to reach agreement that the boundary should run along the Fish River to where Cookhouse stands today, then along the top of the Kaha Mountains overlooking Bedford and thence up to the Taka River. Bands of Koza, however, continued to move west across the Fish River and later in 1779, the first clashes took place between them and the Dutch. This war ended in 1781 when the Koza were driven back across the Fish.